Good morning. I hope everybody's having a good morning and in a good mood today. So I'm going to visit my girlfriend uh, today and want to make her uh, a flower arrangement using flowers for my garden. So I'm not a professional florist, but I do enjoy working with flowers. So the best time to pick flowers, um, to cut flowers rather for, um, for vases is in the morning because that is when uh, the plants are most hydrated and have the most amount of nutrients in them. And that um, always prolongs their freshness after cutting. Um, and then another thing that you can do to uh, prolong freshness of um, your flowers, their vase life, is to add um, into the water in the, in the, that's in the vase to add uh, three things. It's sugar, lemon juice, and chlorine, a quarter of a, uh, a, quarter of a teaspoon of each. Uh, what it does is uh, sugar uh, feeds the flowers, uh, lemon juice um, it, you know, is, it makes, it, makes the flowers fresh, and um, chlorine keeps the bacteria from growing in, in the water. Um, you know, water can become uh, murky in the vase um, because of the bacteria growth. Um, so I'm going to make an asymmetrical design uh, for this flower arrangement and it's going to be in this free-flowing um, garden style uh, design. <music> I will use the branches of this black diamond crepe myrtle as a filler for this arrangement. Compact Japanese holly is an evergreen shrub and I will use it as a filler for this arrangement. Sunshine Lagustrum, it's an evergreen shrub that stays yellow in the sun and green in the shade. I will use it for this arrangement as well. This is a butterfly bush called Miss Molly. I'm not going to use it for this arrangement, but I just wanted to show you how um, beautiful it is right now. This is a limelight hydrangea. It is pink and lime green right now in the fall, and I will certainly use it in this arrangement. It's so beautiful. The main flower for this arrangement will be this zinnia in this purple color. <laughs> 